guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. Happy December 1st. It has been a while. Let me address that first and foremost. I decided to take a little step back from YouTube, and the main reason, I have so much going on. I had some New York trips. I have so many amazing things happening with work and with life and with my home and really wanting to focus on getting my new place furnished and decorated. As you see, it is beginning to be decorated for the holiday. I keep adding and changing and moving things around, but I just, I love the holiday season so much. It brings so much joy and light and laughter and fun to the world and this season is amazing but it just feels good sometimes to take a step back and focus on other things in your life and for me I had a lot of things going on in my personal life uh personal relationships with um with close people and um I just really wanted to focus on the people in Pittsburgh that bring me so much joy and so much life and love and surround myself with the people that really matter to me. And I just focused on my health. Here's what I found. Not Siri. Um, focus on my mental health, my physical health, my lifestyle choices, the way that I've been eating and sleeping changes and just overall shifting my focus from wax to life and I think that for a long time my life was wax and it clouded everything else in my life and to me this is a hobby. YouTube is a really creative journey for me, a creative outlet should I say and I love YouTube, I love wax, I love fragrance but I was finding I would use up like a basket and five boxes would come in and it just felt overwhelming like I would never be able to climb the mountain of everything that I have. And essentially, it ends up being a waste of money because you're using up all this great wax, but then you're getting so much more that you forget what you have. So turning off the Facebook notifications, turning off like YouTube, like I deleted the YouTube app off of my phone and not watching any videos, not really watching anything on Facebook, uh, just really focusing, like I said, on my health, on life, on the world, on things that truly matter to me. Not that wax doesn't matter to me, but wax is fun. At the end of the day, we take pieces of scented wax and we make our home smell great. It's all that is. And it's felt so good. I've emptied like eight bins of wax. So don't get me wrong, I've been melting. I have not been hauling. The only thing that I hauled is my Teddy Bees pre-order, which can we just talk about how epic that Teddy Bee's pre-order was. I heard Vanilla Spiced Apples. I did go in and get three more lows in the RTS. Maybe I'll film the pre-order haul. That's all I got for the RTS though. I didn't really go in for anything else. I didn't want to. Um, it's just, I don't feel like I have a desire to keep buying the wax. Um, I did place a little bit of small orders with Fantasy Wax, but she's a new to me vendor. I want to support a friend and Kirsten is amazing. Andrea is amazing and really, really have been loving her stuff. So been placing like small orders like of her collections, but they're so minuscule that it's like not bombarding my collection. But yeah, I have no pending wax orders except the Teddy Bees RTS. But again, that's three loaves of iHeart Vanilla Spiced Apples, which it's just incredible. When you warm it, it is the most beautiful fragrance I've ever smelled, and I'm so happy to have more in my life. Uh, with that being said, though, um, I haven't filmed empties. I've dumped my empties, recycled them, and I have been using the wax, but I've also been burning a lot of candles. I actually have a Palo Santo from Bath & Body Works burning right now. But yeah, I've just been focusing on candles. While it's cold and some days snowy already, or at least where I am, it feels good to just be cozy at home with some candles. But I do have a ton of wax. I've been going through the wax and it feels really good to know that I can just grab some wax, melt it, 
and not be like, oh my God, I'm melting this basket just to get rid of it to make room for more. Like that's not healthy. And it actually becomes really toxic when your home is filled with wax everywhere. And you're just like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do with this? Do I destash it? Do I give it to friends? Do I just throw it away? Or am I, is it not going to smell anymore? Do I need to double bag it? Is it going to be, you know, too strong? Is it not strong enough? Like it just, it becomes overwhelming where I pulled a basket from Vintage Chic Scents of holiday fragrances and it feels so good to just enjoy it. Not be like, okay, I need to pull this because I need to melt it because I'm getting two orders in and this bin is overflowing and I need to make room for more. Like it just doesn't become fun. This was fun picking this basket. I sat through my VCS collection because I know that's the oldest holiday wax that I have and I decided I'm going to go through the Christmas wax. So I don't really ever film melting basket videos. I just find that I like the more empties or as I call them, trash talk videos, where I sit down and I just share with you what I used up. I love filming those videos, but I did think it was fun. It is December 1st to sit down and show you guys what I am going to be melting throughout the month. Now, this is not exclusively what I'm gonna be melting throughout the month. This is just from Vintage Chic Scents, what I'm going to be melting throughout the month of December. Will I get through it all? Probably not. Do I hope to? Yes, but I am going to San Francisco for a week. I have two New York trips, so I don't really know how much time I will be home this holiday season. So yeah, there's also that, but I do want to get through the majority of this. And then I have another basket of like miscellaneous vendors, some Scentsy, things like that. And then obviously my beautiful holiday candles. So without further ado, Let's get into my holiday basket. First up, and the only like big piece that I pulled, I know I'm like, oh, these are my holiday scents. Drew, this isn't really a holiday scent. I know, McBoo. Now let me explain. I love McBoo from Vintage Chic. It's a staple signature scent for me from her. It is gooey marshmallows, campfire marshmallow, Palo Santo, and vanilla frosted grams. I pulled this because I think this will be a really great blender scent when I have all these other like bakeries if I need a little bit more wax. Her blossom bars are huge. I love her blossom bars. They are, they're easy to store and I just haven't melted them in a while. Ugh. And pulling this just makes my heart so happy. I love this. If you like smoky, really creamy, sweet scents, you have to try McBoo. Her McBoo sugar cookie is great. Her strawberry McBoo sugar cookie. McBoo is just a staple blender for me. So I definitely wanted to pull that. Now I have two shapes in the same scent. I have a little Dahlia or a rose, and then I have a four pack of coins in Christmas tree cakes ice cream. Now Kirby created this whenever Little Debbie created that Christmas tree cakes ice cream, which everybody went crazy for. Delicious that she decided to create this scent and it also became a signature for her. And this is vanilla ice cream, yellow cake, yellow buttercream, and a touch of green sprinkles. And also like these coins are just beautiful. Like look at the detail, look at those beautiful, beautiful sparkles. I love, and this smells just like those frosted Christmas tree cakes. So I think this one between the coins and the rose shape, I will be able to melt this like in my main space and have enough wax for that. So excited to pull that one. Next, I have Merry Christmas Baby. And this is eggnog, yellow cake, and zucchini bread. Kirby, known for her zucchini bread. And this is just a really creamy, bakery rich zucchini bread. I wouldn't necessarily say I smell like eggnog straight up if I didn't read the notes. It just kind of makes it like a very thick, like custardy zucchini bread, which is eggnog. It's a really rich, creamy, delicious holiday drink. So mixed with the zucchini bread, I think that's gonna be a winner. This one, another classic from her. Here's the list, check it twice. And this is zucchini bread, sugar cookies, chestnuts and brown sugar, gooey batter, and fresh rolled dough. So I love chestnuts and brown sugar. And this is so yummy, mixed with the zucchini bread and the sugar cookie. This is a sweet, like buttery, gooey, warm holiday bakery scent. 
And I also picked some scents that I think will go together in like different rooms. So the zucchini breads, maybe putting some of this in my bedroom, some of this in my office. And whenever I come out of the room, I can really get the different blends. I have a leaf shape in, are you serious, Clark? And this guy is Cranberry Orange Clove. Now, I'm not the hugest fan of orange and wax, but this is nice. This reminds me of like a holiday punch, like simmering on the stove in the crock pot. Warm cranberry with like an orange pomander type of vibe. So I think that's actually where I'll probably melt this is like the kitchen in these leaf shapes. Um, I thought I had another set of leaves. They might be buried down below. All right, next we have one of her film bars. Now this is a really thick film bar. And this is in Christmas Time Is Here. So this is sugar cookies, Christmas trees, and a hint of peppermint. So I don't love Christmas tree fragrances, but blended with like bakery, it's all, it's incredible. And I think with a hint of peppermint, this will be a really nice bedroom melt for me. I've been definitely doing a lot more peppermints and lavenders and pink sugars in my bedrooms at night. I do still love bakery in the bedroom, don't get me wrong, but yeah, it's so nice. I like, I like the vibe that this one gives. I have one souffle in frozen hot chocolate. This one is hot cocoa topped with miniature marshmallows and a peppermint stick. I don't love chocolate and wax, so you don't find a lot of it in my collection, but yeah, this smells like serendipity hot chocolate in New York, like the frozen hot chocolate that everybody's obsessed with. Yeah, it smells just like a really, it's crazy because hot chocolate is hot, but then a frozen hot chocolate is delicious. It's the way to go. I don't love hot drinks. So having like a frozen hot chocolate is delicious. And this is no wrong. It is like an ultimate hot chocolate scent. Next, we have... I Smell Snow, which is a quote from The Gilmore Girls, one of my favorite shows. And this is Fresh Falling Snow with a Hint of Sweet Laundry. This is really pretty. Just like a very clean laundry room, bathroom type of scent, which is probably where I'll melt it. I'll probably just chop this into little pieces and melt it throughout the holiday in my bathroom as like a little bit of a difference. As far as Fresh Falling Snow, that note to me just smells like sweet ozonic air from different vendors. And that's kind of what I get from here. The laundry is definitely overpowering those notes. Oh, here's more leaves. This one is O oh Christmas Tree. And this is Vanilla Bean, Vanilla Lace, and Sugared Spruce. There we go. I do like Sugared Spruce, but again, it has to be blended with vanilla. And the Vanilla Lace and the Vanilla Bean in here, definitely, you can smell them. It's more, this gives me like a vanilla balsam vibe, the candle from Bath and Body Works, which I have one left. I'll probably be burning that while I have this melting to give it that like same vibe in the room. But yeah, like a very, very vanilla forward Christmas tree, which is definitely what I prefer. Next, we have Tree Farm, which is sugared spruce trees. So see, I might melt this like in the warmers, alternating maybe with that if I need some more wax. And yeah, this smells up like a straight Christmas tree, but like a sweet Christmas tree. And I'll never forget one of my friends, Deb, Deb Howard, such a sweet lady. Uh, she's like from the Candles by Victoria age. She, era, not age, but I mean, it's like an age of my life. Anyway, she always, she lives in Wisconsin and she always says that the spruce trees almost are like bubble gum or cotton candy when they smell because they are so sweet smelling. So I never get that out of my head. And that is exactly like what this reminds me of is like sweet cotton candy. Crazy, I love. So I always think of Deb with like sugar spruce scents. I have two in the Santa Claus. Now the Santa Claus is totally up my alley. That is frosted cranberry shaving cream and peppermint. I love shaving cream in wax and <sighs> instant nostalgia. Like when I smell shaving cream, Instant nostalgia, like the days of my grandfather, and the, just the sweet, fresh shaving cream scent. Mixed with the cranberry and the peppermint. This is beautiful. Oh, I cannot wait. This is going to be one where it's going to be on those, like, 
It's a little warmer outside, but it's still cold day, and I'm home all day. Cut this into like, I'll cut each point, set it into four, so eight pieces. Do this in my main space and just be in scent heaven that day. Next, we have Cindy Lou Who, and this is Cranberry Ginger Ale. Kirby does ginger ale so well. She's one of the best when it comes to ginger ale. And it's that effervescent bubbly without being like lemon lime fizzy pop, which is just so in your face. And yeah, this is a sweet ginger ale with just a hint of that sweet cranberry, but tart. It's really nice. Always a classic from her. Next, Clark's Christmas Vacation. And this is citrus, cranberry, orange, clove, and spiced apples. Smells just like Christmas. I love her poinsettia shapes too. And yeah, this is, I mean, this smells like you walk into like a Michael's craft store that has the cranberry citrusy wreaths with the cinnamon and pine cones. It's nice. It's definitely not like my staple holiday fragrances, like vibe, but it's definitely one, caught it, that I will enjoy and melt once. Central Park Snow Globe, another classic from Kirby, and this is Peppermint Cream Noel. So sweet vanilla-y peppermint, and that's it. I'll probably melt this in my bedroom. I love the way it smells. It's comforting, it's soft. For someone who doesn't love peppermint, I think they would really like this too. I enjoy peppermint. It's not one that I, if it's in notes, I'm like, ooh, I have to go and get it, but it's nice to have some peppermint in my collection, and that will be one that I enjoy. Next is Christmas Morning, and this is Cinnamon and Sugared Monkey Bread. Love. And these are all from like October, November last year, so they have like a year of cure time ready to go. And this smells just like monkey bread, like that pull apart, yeasty, doughy bread with cinnamon sugar, and when it's glazed and you take it out of the oven, it's warm, it's baked, it's delicious, and that's exactly what this smells like. Oh, that's so yummy. Do I melt this on Christmas morning? We shall see. Next, Cl Clara's Nutcracker Sweet. Vanilla cake covered in cotton candy frosting and gooey marshmallows. Not my exact like scent preference. I don't know why I have this one. It's like a cotton candy sweet cake scent. Almost like a Funfetti cake. It's sort of the vibe I get. Yeah, I mean, definitely not a favorite, but... I will melt it this holiday season. This one, oh, I do love this one. This is Finally It's Christmas. And this is yellow cake and rich vanilla cupcakes topped with peanut butter frosting. Love peanut butter scents. And yeah, it smells like a peanut butter frosted cupcake. Simple, sweet, to the point. Delish. So yummy, I love peanut butter, so smells delish. Oh, I have another Christmas time is here. Awesome. So I have two Christmas time is here's, November 21, October 2020. So definitely have nice age on these guys. I'll be able to melt that. And this is the sugar cookie, Christmas trees, and a hint of peppermint. So like that I have more of some of these. This one is Cranberry Jackie O. And this is Sweet Cranberry Marshmallow Birthday Cake Vanilla Bean Noel, which is Jackie O, Sweet Vanilla with cranberry. There's that cranberry, that tart, juicy, bright cranberry. Oh, so yummy. Love. I'm so excited for to melt all of these this month. This one is snowed in. Oh, we'll have some of those days, I'm sure, this year. Sugar and spruce, marshmallow fireside, and vanilla lace. So smoky, woodsy. Yep, yeah, you have that smoky, that smoky, charred wood, smoldering wood. Marshmallow, vanilla lace, which is a Victoria's Secret type, so it's like a more perfumey vanilla body care. And then that sugar spruce, that Christmas tree. It's a pretty one. It's a really, really pretty one. Next, it's a wonderful life. Warm spices with hints of clove, cinnamon, and nutmeg. This is okay. It's definitely like that like cinnamony, like red hot cinnamon that I just don't love. So we'll see. This might be one that I melt on like a day that I'm not home all day, just so I could melt it. And then last but not least, this scent, you guys, I'm just gonna dump these in the basket again real quick. This scent, you guys, 
cookie and cocoa dispenser. When I first got this, I was blown away. And again, I don't love chocolate scents. It's rich sugar cookies and hot cocoa. Kirby sugar cookie, again, that's like an oil that's like kind of basic. It's like kind of a blender, but her sugar cookie blended with her hot cocoa, as much as like, it's not necessarily a bedroom scent. I feel like this is a day. I cut this in half and it, like in fours, use it once in my bedroom, shut the door and just enjoy it all day with a Christmas movie. It is like the ultimate hot chocolate. The rich, warm, marshmallowy cocoa and the sugar cookie. This sugar cookie oil blows me away. I was just watching Nicole Perry do a vintage cheek scents like at her empties and she had a VCS and it was uh, rich sugar cookies. And she goes, I love VCS sugar cookie oil. Or was it Maggie with a VCS haul? I don't remember. I definitely feel like it was Maggie or Nicole Perry. Anyway, somebody loves uh, VCS rich sugar cookie oil and it like dawned on me with this. Yeah, it's nice. I like this a lot. I cannot wait to melt this. So, I know I like went kind of fast, but these were just like cold. I've reviewed all of these scents before on my channel, so it's not anything new. But yeah, so that is my basket for the month of December from VCS. Like I said, this is not all I'll be getting through, burning some candles, other vendors. But thank you all so much for watching. I got 36 new subscribers since I've been gone. So thank you to the new subscribers. Welcome to my channel. I create lifestyle. I'm going to do a lot more home videos coming up and just focusing a lot more on candles too. I love my candles. It's my roots. It's where I got to where I was today. Wax is like secondary for me. And yeah, so There'll be a lot more luxury candle videos coming up too, which I love. I did a huge luxury candle holiday candle haul, which I want to film. So we'll get to that. Maybe my Teddy Bees pre-order, depending on how I'm feeling. But thank you all so much. I hope you had an incredible Thanksgiving with your friends, family, however you celebrated. And I will see you guys in my next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I make a video here on YouTube. You matter. And I love you all so much. Bye, guys.